Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 027 underscore BIADN where you see. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. Rename this file to 00 underscore 028 underscore DIABM and click the save button. Now this roof, the blue roof and the yellow roof are in the same level. The red and the green roof are in the first floor plan. So we need to link up the roof from the first floor to the ground floor roof. In other words, the ground floor roof starts drawn in the first floor while the first floor roof drawn above the first floor wall. So we need to link up these two roofs. Now, if you look at this blue roof and the magenta and the yellow one, you see that there is a cap in between this area. To link up this roof, first, let's change the layer to R6. Now, go to the home tab, draw panel and click the down arrow. Select the construction line command. Type O on your keyboard and press enter. At the specified offset distance point, type 750 millimeter, press enter. Click on this line at the specified side to offset prompt, move to the right and click. Click on this line at specified side to offset prompt, move down and click. Press escape. We're going to create some kind of e proof, but just one side and leave the other side to try to link up with this roof. So whatever gradient we get from this point, we try to link it from this point to this point. This will solve our problem. To do that, let's try this method first. Go to the Home tab, Modify Panel and select the Offset command. At Specify Offset Distance from type 4800 mm and press Enter. Select this line and offset it up. Select this line again and offset it up. Press Escape to get out of the command. Now, go to the Home tab, Draw Panel and select the Polyline command. At Specify First Object from use the Intersection Object Snap, start from this point and to this point, move the mouse to this point, this point, this point, press Enter to end the command. Now select this polyline, this polyline and delete to make the drawing less busy. Select this line and hit delete on the keyboard. Leave this one at the center of the this roof. Now go to the Home tab, draw panel, click the Construction Line command. Type O on your keyboard and press enter. Type 750 millimeter, press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Zoom in and select this line, offset it down. Select this line and offset it out. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, go up and select the polyline command. Start the polyline from the intersection of this line to this line, this line, and this line. Press enter to end the command. Select this construction and this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the construction line command again. Type O on your keyboard and press enter. Type 750 mm and press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Select this line, offset it to the left. Press escape. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. Start a line from this intersection to this point and this point. Press escape. Select this construction line and hit delete on your keyboard. Now, go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Make sure that your polar tracking is on. Click on this area and snap to 45 degree. Click to place the line. The distance isn't important at the moment. Select this line. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the copy command. As first by base point prompt, use the endpoint snap, object snap and snap to this point. Copy this line to this point. Press escape. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Select this line and this line. Press enter. Trim off this construction line. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Select this line and fillet it to this line. Now select this line. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the mirror command. As specifying first point of mirror line, use the endpoint snap and click into this area. Turn on the auto mode and move to the right. Press enter. Now go to the home tab layer panel and click the isolate command. Select this line, this line, press enter. Select this line, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the mirror command. As with my first point of mirror line, snap to this endpoint and move the mouse cursor and snap to this endpoint. Press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Start a line at this corner. 
and turn on the polar tracking snap at 45 degree angle press enter now I'll go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command select this line and fillet it to this line select this line click on the grip and snap to the end point of these two lines and click on this grid snap to the end point of these two lines press escape now I'll go to the draw panel and select the line command start the line from this point and turn on the auto mode move to the right and click press escape now I'll go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command fillet this line to this line now go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command start the line at this point turn on the polar tracking and draw this line into 45 degree press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command fillet this line to this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command select this line press enter and trim off this line press escape now let's try to bring some of the roof and try to link them up to see the result for the moment but before we do, select this line, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the exclude command. Select this line, this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Select this line, this line, press enter and trim off this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now click the down arrow and turn on the R4 and the R3 layer to see the results. We need to extend this roof at this to slope down into this direction. To do that, go to the home tab layer panel and select the make current command. Click to make this layer the current layer. Now we need to link up this roof to join it into this roof. So we need to extend this roof down this area so that this roof can meet with this roof in real world. To do that, go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. I specify first point prompt, avoid the mouse cursor into this area. Now move down and type 300, press enter. Move the mouse cursor to the right and the distance isn't mortar, click, press escape. Now select the trim command, select this line, this line, press enter. Trim off this line and this line, press escape. Select this line, zoom in into this area, click on this clip and move it to the end point of this line. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the 2D poly line. Start from this point, snap to this point, this point, this point, this point. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the make current button, select this layer, go to the home tab, drop and select the line command, start a line from this point to the perpendicular of this line, press escape to get out of the command. Now click the on isolate command to unisolate the object. Now we need to draw a, 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 a loop in from this point to this point. To do that, go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command, start a line from this point to this point, press escape, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the rectangle command. At specify first point prompt, click on this area, avoid the mouse cursor into this area and this area. Now move to the intersection and click. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At specify offset this time point, type 750 and press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape. Now go to the home tab. Modify panel and select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. Select this line. Click on this clip and use the perpendicular object snap. Turn on the auto mode and snap to this magenta line. Press escape. Go to the home tab. Layer panel and set the make current command. Select this roof to make it the current layer. Go to the home tab. Drop panel and select the polyline command. Start the line from this point to this point and move the mouse cursor into this direction. Click press escape. Now go to the home tab layer panel and select the isolate command. Click on this roof, press enter. Go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. Select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. This line to this line. Go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. Press enter to repeat the fillet command. Fillet this line to this line. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Fillet this line to this line, this line to this line, this line to this line. Press enter. Now all this line is one object. Go to the home tab, drop panel and select the polyline command. Start the line from this point to this point. Press enter. Go to the home tab, layer panel and click the on isolate command. Now go to the home tab, draw panel and select the polyline command. 
start a line from this endpoint, move the mouse cursor and snap to this endpoint, press enter to end the command. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, drop a line and select the line command. Select this line and join it to this line. Press escape. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property. At the select source object from select this object. At select destination object from select this object. Press enter. Now you cannot see this roof through because this roof is above this roof. To make it look realistic, select this roof and click on this grid. Move the mouse. Turn on the auto mode on the status bar and snap to the perpendicular of this object. Press escape to get out of the command. Now we need to do something at least to align this roof to this wall. Select this line, click on this grid and snap perpendicular to this roof. Press escape, select this line, zoom in and click on this grid, snap to this roof. Press escape. Go to the home tab, layer panel and select the isolate command. Select this roof, this roof, this roof, this roof, this roof, this roof, press enter. Now our roof is almost complete. We need one area left, this area. So this is the present result. Go to the navigation bar, click the down arrow and select the zoom window. Zoom out, click on this area and move the mouse cursor, click. We stopped at this point. In the next tutorial, we'll finish our roof and try to bring up all, move all those roofs to one layer. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or you want a specific tutorial, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue on this series or any other tutorial on my channel, please click the subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.